Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet, which was actually designed by MDL Looms. I'm doing a tutorial for somebody, and I really like this design. I think it's cute because it has all the X's. Um, so yeah, let me show you his page because I brought it up. Oh god, I forgot to put my password in. Wait. Okay, so this is his page, and he has loads of bracelets, and yeah. But I'll put his Instagram in the description if you want to go follow him and check out his bracelets. So this is the Agent X bracelet, which is what I forgot to say, because this name bracelet already has a name. I usually don't have him named when I film the tutorial, so that's a bit weird. But yeah, so this is the Agent X bracelet, and it was designed by MDL Looms, and yeah, I think that's it. So, um, so you're going to need a hook. I'm using a double-ended hook just because I'm comfortable with it, but this dot... Uh, this design, you don't have really too many bands on the hook at the time, so you could probably do it with a regular hook. And then for the colors, so today for the white, I'm going to be using two different shades of green. And then for the sweets um, purple on this bracelet, I'm going to be using sweets blue. And I haven't decided the bordered color yet, so I'll tell you what color I'm doing when I get there. But I'm going to do the middle bit first, and then... Yeah, because I couldn't decide because I didn't know what would look good. So I'm just going to do this bit first, but yeah. Okay. So to start, you're just going to do an 8 loop setup. So I should move my phone. Um, so yeah, you're just going to cap the band on your hook. And then get a band, pull it through both loops, put both loops back on your hook. Get another band, you pull it through just the first two, pick up the outer one, and then you just do the same thing again. Just the first two, pick up the outer one. And then you're going to flip and do this to the other side. Just do the exact same thing. You pull a band through the first two, pick up the outer one, and you just do that again. Like that. So then you should have an 8 loop set up. Yeah, it's 8 loops. And then now... I kind of forgot what we're supposed to do, but I think I remember. So now, you're going to get your middle color. You're going to pull it through... Okay, I remember. Do the first half. You're going to pick up the outer 3. And then you're going to rearrange these N2 over. So it looks like this. And then you're going to push this blue one over the edge of the hook. Like that. And then before we flip, you're going to get whatever color you're doing for the underneath the white part in the other bracelet. Um, you're going to pull it through the first three, and then just pick up the other one. Then you're going to flip. And you do the same thing to the side, so you pull it through the first half. You pick up the outer three, and you, you rearrange these and two over, and then you push this one over the edge of the hook, and you get whatever color that's, well, you're green, I guess, and you pull through the first three and pick up the outer one. So now we're going to cross these two middle ones, so you just pull one and cross it over the other, but you're going to want to make sure that after this point you're crossing them the same way because to me it just looks nicer to have them all crossed the same way so just make sure you're crossing them all the same direction so now we're going to do pretty much the same thing you pull it through the first half you pick up the outer three you rearrange these two over and then push the blue band over the end of the hook the band's twisted The band's really twisted. One minute, let me just fix it. Because I don't like bands when they're twisted. I probably just did something weird. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, I forgot. Before you flip, always remember to pull the green band through. I always forget. Like that. So, we're basically doing the same thing as last time, where you pull through the first half. It's just this time, instead of it being a green band, it's the blue metal band. So once again, you just pull through the first half, you pick up the other three, you rearrange those two over, then you push the blue over, 
and then you get your green color or well, whatever color you, the green would be for you <laughs> and you pull through the first three and pick up the other one and then again we'll cross these two middle bands and just make sure that they're all they're being crossed the same way that the last one was like that and you just do the same thing so this, I'll show you this one last time and then I'm gonna go off camera to do the rest because I feel like this is pretty simple so you just pull through the first half pick up the other three rearrange those two over and push it over the end of the hook and then grab your green color pull through the first three pick up the other one you do this to the other side pull through the first half pick up the other three rearrange just mine went out of order Make sure all your bands stay in the right order. Just push it over. And then you pull a green band through the first three and pick up the other one. And then you cross this one. So the hardest part about this bit to me is just making sure you're crossing them all the same way because it just looks nicer. So I'm going to make this a little longer and come back and show you how to do the borders. Okay, so once you've made it long enough to go all the way around your wrist, you're, you're going to want to stop after you add the green bands. And then you're just going to take a band, you're going to pull through everything on your hook, and you're going to C-clip it. And you're gonna, like I said, you're going to want to make this, make this long enough to go all the way around your wrist, or just however long you want it. Um, but I only made it this long so I could just do it for the tutorial because it, I don't know. But yeah. So now we're going to add the borders and I've decided for the border color I'm going to be doing um, dark blue jelly. And like in this bracelet I did rainbow and I'm not sure how good that looked but yeah so just get whatever color you want for the border. So to do the border what I do is I usually go through the side here and I grab the cat band. Which I can't see. Grab the cat band. And you'll notice the cap band because you'll see this these loops here get tighter. Oh, my camera's not focused. There we go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your border color and you're just going to pull it through the cap band and put both ends back on your hook. So now we're going to start making the X's. So usually how I make the X is I go through the first band. I grab the second band and I pull it under. Like that. And then I get another color, whatever color your border band is. And you pull it through everything on your hook and you're going to pick up the blue closest to your hook and then you just put the other loop back on didn't grab enough blue just grabbing blue okay and then you're just going to grab the loop above it you're not going to cross it with anything else you're going to pull it a bit uh, <laughs> blue band through everything on your hook and you're just going to pick up the one closest to your hook and put the other end back on and then you made one x you're just going to so after you finish the next you're just going to do the same thing i did before where you go through the first loop but you grab the second loop pull it under and then you pull a band through everything on your hook and just pick up the blue closest to your hook and put it back on and, you, and then you just grab the next loop like that so you're only crossing them every other one does that make sense? I feel like it'll make more sense when you're doing it um just because Oops. you just grab the top of the X that I'm just gonna show you I'm just gonna finish going up here and then I'll show you how to do the other side but I feel like this is pretty simple because you just do this exact same thing to the other side Gosh, my bands are uncrossing sorry but yeah like I said you're just gonna do that to everything and grab the outside one
And this is my last X because my bracelet's really short. So once you get to the end of your bracelet, which is right here for me, but it'll be way further up for you. All you're going to do is after you've done this last one, you're just going to do one more where you pull through everything on your hook and pick up the one closest to your hook. And then what I do is I usually unhook this. I grab that band and I put this on that band and then just re-c-clip re it. That's it. So now you're going to want to do this exact same th thing to the other side, but it's literally the exact same thing just to the other side. And there's probably also different ways you could cross the X's. I just find that way easiest. But if you do cross them a different way, you're going to want to make sure they're all crossed in the same direction. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do the other side real quick. So you do the same thing where you go in and you grab the cap band, pull a band through this. Is that the cap band? Oh, I went through something else too. Oops. It's because I have a hard time seeing on camera. I don't know. Okay. So once you have it through the cap band, you're going to go through this first one, grab that second band, make a cross with it, and then you pull a band just like before through everything on your hook and only pick up the one closest to your hook. And then you're going to go through that band that's the top of the X, pull it through everything on your hook, pick up the band closest to your hook. And do the same thing, go through the two bands, pull this one under it. I'm really bad at kind of explaining what I'm doing, so I'm hoping you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. Drawing my fishtail pants, keep But yeah, just remember you have the one closest to your hook. Because I feel like that's the part you guys are having... You guys would have problems seeing because my fingers get in the way. But yeah, you just keep doing this all the way up until you finish the side. Same thing with the other side. Okay, I'm just going to finish up this side and then that's going to be it. Okay, and we're just going to do the same thing as the other side once you get to the end, where after you put that last um, cross band in, you're just going to do one more. And then you'll unclip this half. Oh god, my sequence like backwards. I'm trying to fix my C-clip. Okay, yeah, but you'll just unclip this side. And you'll just add this border band onto this band and then re-clip it. Like that. And you could probably C-clip it a different way, but I find this way best where you just put everything on that one band. And then, if this was a bracelet, you'd just clip it to the... You can still see the cap band. So you'd just clip it to that. But yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you make these, make sure to tag me on MDL because this is his design. And... Yeah. So, I hope you like this tutorial. I tried my best to explain everything. And subscribe if you want to see more Loom videos. I am making loads of tutorials right now because I'm bored. Um... And yeah, I think that's it. So, bye.